the Alabama State Trooper Post at Hamilton reported trees down in parts of the Hamilton area and power is out. This is due to a line of severe thunderstorms that moved through the Hamilton area. Some of the trees were blown down at a home of a state trooper that lives in Hamilton, and his home was also damaged by the fallen trees. 3 a.m. weather, Birmingham Airport 68 degrees, cloudy, humidity 84%, 72 cloudy, humidity 79%, wind south at 14, West Alabama at 2.30 a.m. The Lauderdale County EMA office reported small hail in northwest part of Florence in Lauderdale County at 2.40. The Colbert County EMA reported marble-sized hail at Cherokee in western Colbert County. At 2.45 a.m., the Lauderdale County EMA reported marble-sized hail in Sheffield. And at 2.47, small hail five miles north of Florence in Lauderdale County. At 2.50, power lines were reported torn down at Sheffield in northwest Alabama's Colbert County. This continuous weather brought down thunderstorms were near Phil Campbell in southeast Franklin County. The line of thunderstorms was moving east at 40 miles an hour and will be moving across Winston and parts of Fayette and Walker counties during the next hour. B45 a.m. severe weather statement. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for Lamar County in northwest Alabama until 4 a.m. The warning is no longer in effect for Marion County as of 345. The intense thunderstorms moved east of Marion County. At 3.45, a line of intense thunderstorms extended from near Columbus, Mississippi, northeastward into Alabama near Vernon in Lamar County, and then to near Carbon Hill and Double Springs in Walker and Winston counties. The line of thunderstorms was moving east at 40 miles an hour. Many of these thunderstorms are capable of producing strong winds, very heavy rain, possible hail, and dangerous lightning. Wind damage was reported in and around the Hamilton area as these severe thunderstorms move through Marion County. These thunderstorms will affect much of eastern Winston, Walker, Fayette, and southern Lamar County between now and about 5 a.m. Troopers reported that a number of trees were down in one part of Hamilton where an Alabama state trooper lives. The state trooper's home was damaged and also his patrol car was a victim of a fallen tree. The public also reports wind damage of an undetermined amount north of Hamilton and northern Marion County. County in northwest Alabama was canceled at 345 after the intense thunderstorms moved eastward out of Marion County. The severe thunderstorm warning no longer in effect as of 4 a.m. for Lamar County. While we don't have any actual warnings in effect at this time, thunderstorms remain very intense over part of northwest Alabama and warnings may have to be reissued at a moment's notice. The main line of intense thunderstorms extended from Columbus, Mississippi, northeastward across Vernon, Alabama and Lamar County then across northwest Fayette County, across the northwest edge of Walker County near Carbon Hill, then through eastern Winston County near the Coleman County line to near the town of Addison, and then to east of Moulton and Lawrence County. The line of thunderstorms is moving east at 40 miles an hour. At four o'clock, some of the most intense thunderstorms were over northwest Walker County, northeast of Carbon Hill and north of Pamley, and other very intense thunderstorms over northwestern Fayette County about 10 to 12 miles northwest of the city of Fayette. Thunderstorm warning for Marion County in northwest Alabama was canceled at 345, and the warning for Lamar County was no longer in effect after 4 a.m., but although no actual warnings are in effect, thunderstorms remain very intense. The intense thunderstorms has developed out ahead of the main line of thunderstorms, and we're more concerned about that now. At 410, the new line of thunderstorms extended from Gordo and Pickens County, northeast would across northwest Tuscaloosa County, into eastern Walker and southern Cullman counties. Some of the strongest thunderstorms in the new line was over northwest Tuscaloosa County. We may have to issue warnings at any moment for any of those stronger thunderstorms. As of 4.20 a.m., here's all we know about the damage in northwest Alabama's Marion County. Severe thunderstorms tore through Marion County around 3.15 to 3.20 this morning. Apparently, there was considerable damage in and around the Hamilton area in Marion County. Power is out and we are being hampered on collecting damage reports from the area. However, from these sketchy reports from Alabama State Troopers and collected by the Birmingham Amateur Radio Club, it appears that numerous trees were uprooted in and around the Hamilton area, knocking the power out. The Birmingham Amateur Radio Club reports that on State Route 14, west of Hamilton, numerous trees are down. On State Route 17, where it intersects with County Road 1, west of Hamilton, 
numerous trees and power lines are down, and Highway 1 is inaccessible. The Alabama State Troopers reported that numerous trees were uprooted around a home belonging to an Alabama State Trooper in Hamilton, damaging his home, and also the State Troopers patrol car was a victim of the fallen trees. All of this occurred around 3.15 to 3.20 as the severe thunderstorms moved through Hamilton and especially in and around the Hamilton area. Numerous trees were blown down around a home belonging to an Alabama State Trooper. I will. Amateur Radio Club. And at 5.02 a.m. Central Daylight Time, the Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning until 5.45 for Pickens County in west central Alabama. A severe thunderstorm was indicated by radar west of Gordo in Pickens County at 455. The severe thunderstorm was moving east at 50 miles an hour. Repeating this, a severe thunderstorm warning. Thunder, rather baseball-sized hail. Here's the current situation showing you those storms lining up. Thunderstorm wide.